hey, hey, wakey, 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 top of the sun, grand rising, yes, sleepyhead, how are you this morning, did you sleep well, <laughs> oh my goodness, did you beat the sun like I did, did you? Oh my goodness, like I said, it's the weekend and I kind of want to sleep in, but like I said before, my body won't allow me to. This has just been like this forever. It's been like this since school days. I'm just a natural alarm clock, but yeah, you guys, I'm coming to you this morning for Vlogtober Day 6. Yes, <laughs> and today's topic is being choosy about where you want to live. Now, as I was thinking of this topic, um, I wasn't, you know, you're blessed if you have a roof over your head because a lot of people in the world don't, are not fortunate enough to have a place of their own you see it every day people are on the bus stops in the shelters they under the bridges it's just super freaking sad and i really i'm not here for it because it's too many vacant lots it's too many buildings old buildings that could be torn down and built up for people you know, to just go and lay their hair, head at. But it's, it's, like I said, it's greed out here. People don't care. Ooh, and they got the nerve to charge you everything under the sun for rent. <laughs> you got to be kidding. But anyway, that's another topic for another day. Oh, I'll just bring it full circle on here if I think about it. Um, yeah. People being choosy about where they want to live in a sense of they're so picky and choosing what, you know, in the quality, like everybody wants quality, but what you got to understand is nothing. You will never find a place on this earth where it's just stupid. Perfect. Let me go into that. So you go to a nice suburban area. You got pedophiles, you got incest, you got devil worshippers, you got all type of nonsense, um, peaking times, you got all type of, ooh, sinister nonsense, I should say. You go in an urban area, okay, you might risk getting shot in your sleep. A bullet, a stray bullet flying through your window. You might get robbed, you might get, you know, and that's just statistics, you know. Some of it may be true, but some of it you might just, you know, some urban areas aren't I'm getting into that. Let me finish my point. I'm jumping around. You, um, it's all type of drugs everywhere in the urban areas. It's this and that. It's all type of... Again, nonsense. So, and then people choose about the state. Okay. All right. Like I said before, it's no perfect place. For me, I, I, I keep it simple. I don't want to be in no dangerous weather. I don't know how to deal with earthquakes, tsunamis, hurricanes, tornadoes. What? <laughs> and I guess I'm very spoiled in that area also because I never had to deal. I, first of all, I ain't never been in the air, lived in a place where it was hurricanes, tsunamis, hurricanes. Bless. I'm in a state where it's um, tornadoes, but I never experienced a tornado before. How blessed and spoiled is that? Yes. 
And I'm petrified of them because when I dream about them, they be so black and thick and acting like they bow rolling up. Oh, no, don't roll up on me like that. I don't know you like that. But it never causes damage to me. It only roll up on me and go around me. Like, it don't hit my house. I see it from a distance in my window, and it roll up on me, and then it will deter. Like, it will go another direction. It will never hit my house. It will never do anything. It will just, I'm here, like I said, acting all bold, rolling up on me like they know me, and then they'll go in another direction. That's as close as a tornado as I ever get is in my dreams. That's but I'm I'm blessed because I heard those are never a joke, you know. So I was very blessed in that department to never experience horrifying weather, you know. So that's a strong thing to consider, and that is just the main thing I think about because you cannot predict the weather, you can't control the weather. And you can't control other things either, but like one thing you try I will say you want to stay clear of dangerous weather, you know. And anything could happen anywhere, but I'm just ooh, like I my whole world will be upside down if I got a sudden be in a hurricane. What is that? Or oh, a tsunami? Good god, good gosh, really? A tsunami? You know, big old things of water coming up. I ain't got time for that. And the earthquake. Huh. You could forget it. <laughs> What's that? Shake where? What? The whole room is? No, you can have it. You can have it. I'm good. I don't have the patience. I'm just not. I just couldn't imagine. Like, <sighs> You just can't think about nothing like that. You just can't. But other than that, anywhere in the United States, you know, people are so picky. They have a lo- they have a list for a that's as long. They have a list that's long as the Lincoln Tunnel about where they want to freaking live. Like, how was you this picky? Are you this picky with the people you sleep with? Like, I'm just, I'm just, I just. Ooh, I'm going too much and I'm going all the way to the left. Let me bring it back. <laughs> yes. So the main thing is should be weather and cleanliness. Like is the place clean? It better not be infested with roaches and spiders and mice and whatnot. Bed bugs, all that gotta be clear. You know, that's just basic. You don't want to move nowhere and the weather is terrible. Like, that that's crazy how people fly to these places and swear up and down. It's so good. But y'all just hurricaned down. Like, it's just hurricane infested. Earthquake infested. Tornado infested. Tsunami infested. Like, y'all ain't scared of none of that. But y'all just swear up and... Okay. All right, and y'all y'all got it like that where y'all house could be torn down and you could rebuild, or you got it like that where you could just relocate and, you know, I mean, you don't have no choice but to relocate. But me, I don't like moving. Let, let me put that out there, okay? Moving is, it was never for me. I don't like to pack. I don't like to unpack. I don't like buying boxes. I don't like to physically move anything. I don't know. Mm-mm. So I don't play when it comes to this moving thing. I want to find a spot and I'm there for a few years, okay? People just be packing up. Every other month you move it. What is you doing? Like, you don't want to, you don't have the know-how or the desire to sit down and be still. Like, what is going on with you? You calling the moving company every other week. Like, no, ain't nobody got time for that. Moving is freaking expensive. It takes a lot of energy. And I ain't got time. It was never for me. I don't like it. I like to stay put, okay? That That's what it is. Mm, like, you moving again? Didn't you just move two months ago and you moving again? Okay. All right. But that's not here or there. I just wanted to put that out there. I don't like moving. 
you know, but that's another thing. Like, who wants to move all the time? Like, you know, then you got to worry about your mail. Who getting that place, getting your old mail. Like, people nosy. People getting the mail. But, and then you tell the post office to change your mail, and it takes forever for them to forward and stop it from going to that address. And, you know, you got to do the tedious calling. Everybody in the phone to change the address. Oh, some of y'all don't do that, huh? Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> you just go to the post office and change your address. No, you're supposed to physically call everybody to and change it. So they stop sending your mail to the old address. But anyway, yeah. I'm just so peculiar about that. Like, I don't like nothing with my name on it. Nowhere. Like, I'm just very fickle about that. Like, no, who, you don't know what creep getting your stuff and fantasizing of your name and looking through your mail. And they say you're not supposed to open nobody else's mail, but you'll be surprised how many people do it. Anyway, <laughs> off that subject, um, well, it's kind of a key point, a bullet point in it. Yeah. People being choosy about where they live. All right. Nowhere on this earth will you go where it's just perfect. It's um a straight paradise. Nowhere. It's always going to be somewhere. It's, it's always going to be something that annoys you. You don't like. It might be something. The ratio might be more of your likes. Then your um, dislikes. Yeah, but it's always going to be something that annoys you, that you don't like, that you will love, you will like, you know, you can get used to. It's going to be a mixture of everything everywhere. Let me just put that out there, okay? Nowhere you pick to live is going to be just perfect. Your whole list is going to match your whole list of things. Your whole Lincoln Tunnel of list of things you got written down. Nowhere. <laughs> you know? So, you might look up and find somewhere where the ratio, like I said, the ratio of your likes is higher than your dislikes. But it just ain't going to be across the border. Oh, it's just so perfect. I ain't got a problem. In the, I ain't got a... Yeah, okay. I, I want to meet that person. I'll show you a liar. You know, I will show you a complete liar. Yeah, it ain't perfect. I can tell you that right now. But, um... Yeah, y'all. Like, as long as it's clean. As long as the ratio... Of your liking is higher than your dislikes. And the weather is cool. You should be good in the neighborhood. Like, you really choosy. It's other things you could be choosy about, I'll tell you that. Yes, yeah, other things you could put that energy in. Um, you know, but man, I was listening to... Uh, um, Nay's way. I like her. She real cool. Um, that's one of my new stuff. She is so cool. I was binge watching some of her videos, and um, she was talking about the price of New York City. I visited there, and I thought, um, like, I, I, it's overcrowded. That's the one thing I really didn't. Like I said, I would never live here. But um, I did a college tour. Um, I went to, a, oh, goodness. Um, I went to one of the private schools up there, St. John's, and um, sat in um, a few of the classrooms and, you know, um, did a day in the life of the, uh, this was back in my high school days, but I, uh, you know, sat in with some of the classrooms and, you know, got the feel of the private school and I liked it so much. Um, I spent the whole week there. Um, I liked it other than the crowded, like it's too overpopulated. Like I was like, I can't even go down the street 
without it being crap. Like, and then the, like, I liked how the buses come every three minutes. Like, that was dope to me because it's so overpopulated. So a bus had to come every three minutes. Like, transportation. You know, the taxis wasn't that bad. You know, it was cool. Like, it's a lot to do. You know, um, the weather was good. It wasn't, you know, except for the last day when it poured rain. Like, my luggage got soaked and stuff. But other than that, I was like, it's dope. New York is dope. But, yeah, it is expensive. Like, crazy. But, uh, yeah, she was just telling me how Nay's way. Y'all go check her out. She dope. You know, we think alike. She real dope. But, she was talking about the expense. It's very expensive there. And I was like, it's expensive everywhere. <laughs> you know, but yeah, some places like California, New York, um, it's ridiculously expensive. Like, I would never live in New York. I will always visit. I would never visit California. I don't have a desire to visit California. It would be more Seattle for me. I'm a Seattle type of person. I reckon, you know, I always want to move to Seattle, though. But, um, like I said, I'd rather deal with the rain than tornadoes, tsunamis, hurricanes, earthquakes. Hey, okay? I could deal with the rain and snow. Good. I could do with nothing else. But, um, yeah, I'm not moving places where it's overpopulating. You have to stay away from those certain checkpoints. Certain people know what I'm talking about. I would never go to California. I have no desire to visit. Look that way. It's nothing over there for me. Nope. I'm more of a upper west. Meaning Seattle and up. Like I visit Canada and stuff like that. Up. I don't got nothing else to do with the west. Over there. East. Okay. We could do east. Upper east. South. Um, It's just too hot. And I'm not dealing with flying roaches and flying spiders and flying nothing else where the insects is damn near bigger than the fucking humans and they should be paying rent and the humans are negative 15 like negative 15 pounds like I was wondering I asked myself a question like why everybody in Atlanta so damn skin teeth like they are bones and skin and these are like grown people. And I'm like, good goddamn. Now I know you ain't supposed to be fat. Oh, you, I mean, everybody ain't going to be fat and whole weight. And, you know, everybody can't be skinny. Everybody can't be big. And people going to be medium. But it's a lot of people that's stupid skinny down there. I'm like, what the hell? What is in their water? It was just the question I had. You know, and it came across my mind, like, what is really going on? You know, but, um, yeah, I don't do down south. I visit, I visit anywhere but California. That's off the list. I, anybody saying let's go to California? Nope, it, I can't do it. I don't want to go. Nope, I don't have any desires to go that far over there. <laughs> nope. Down south, yeah, I'll visit. And now we'll only cut it off at Arizona, Utah. I'm not touching the state of California. I don't want to even cross the line. No. Mm -mm. California is totally off limits to me. <laughs> it's no reason for me to be over there <laughs> at all. But, um, yeah. Um, down south, they got the human-like insects, and it's too hot. I ain't never living nowhere where it's that fucking hot. Up north, it makes me, fall makes me happy. Fall and winter makes me stupid happy. Like, oh my goodness, I'm living my best life right now because it's fall. And about to be winter. Like, uh, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. But, um. Yep, I guess I will always be a Northeastern girl. Always. Northeast. I keep it cute, you know? Um, yeah, it will always be Northwest. Like I said, Seattle is a, um, a city I will want to 
one day live. You know, that's it. Nothing more, nothing less. We ain't going east, south. We ain't going west, south, nowhere. We going to keep it cute and keep it north, west. That's it. Damn near close to Canada. That's it. Mm -mm. I'm not interested in nothing else over there. So, yeah. Those are my thoughts and opinions on how people are choosy. I was, oh, I'm talking too long. That's too long. People being choosy on where they want to live. Y'all, keep it cute and simple, all right? It's not that deep. It's that deep, but it ain't that deep, all right? Make life easier for yourself. It was something else I was going to say. Hey, yeah, ain't no candle today because uh, huh, your girl still don't feel good, but it's okay. I'm good. I'm keeping my spirits high for y'all. We good. You know, you here, I'm good. I'm good. I'm here for you. Yes, I ain't going to skip out on October day six because I don't feel good. My energy going to be all right and it's going to be on point. Okay? Okay? And I kept y'all too long. Oh, my goodness. This is too long. I got to go. Um, I'll catch y'all on the next one. I hope y'all have a good day. Um, do something, you know, like I said, it's the weekend, it's Sunday, have brunch, go treat yourself, go do something positive, go make somebody smile, give yourself a hug, go buy yourself something, you know, help out a um, person in need, put a smile on their face, do that for me, okay, alright, I'll catch you on the next one.